All right, on to stage two of Destiny Mode. And our first order of business is to buy this base burnination skill that I was so keen on. And since we have some leftover points, we might as well bump up our health and defense while we're at it. We must make preparations to strike Yuan Shao at Guangdu. Although their army is large, with that fool at the helm, they do not stand a chance against us. Once we defeat Yuan Shao, we shall conquer the land from the central plains to Huabei. It is time to finally bring an end to this relic of the old world. Our orders for this battle are to occupy the enemy base. Bases increase both an army's offensive and defensive capabilities. We must eliminate this threat. I'm hearing the enemy has constructed a supply base. They must be trying to raise the morale of their troops. We must stop that from happening. Yeah, you see this from time to time. What this means is there is a designated supply base in the battlefield, and if you take it over, you get a morale boost and some praise. It's time to prepare for battle. I shall be watching to see how you respond to what is asked of you out there. All right, now I don't want to be pressed for time. Guard Captain KO should be easy enough. Officer KOs should be reasonably easy as long as I don't get too many kill steals. Fine letters again is too random from my wishes because I don't have that ability that makes regular soldiers drop them. Another fun fact about these objectives, they are set as soon as you get to the preparation room where you can buy abilities, change your clothes when you've unlocked them, and so on and so forth. If you get a crappy set of objectives to start with, in your very first battle, your only recourse is to redo your character. But usually after that, once you get off to your good start with your base burnination, you get enough doable objectives that you shouldn't have trouble getting enough points to buy all the skills that you need, even if you happen to miss one here or there. So naturally we want shiny new toy to play with. And we will be heading up and around to this base over here. So let's get going. We shall lead the attack. Follow me. Huh. Look, look at me trundle. Trundling after my big brother. Guan Du is one of the various Battles and Dynasty Warriors that historically was a multi-year campaign, but gets squished into one battle for maximum beat-em-up lulls. Sao Ren's big contribution in the historical campaign was defeating Liu Bei, who had taken so over some rebellious provinces. Oh, crud attack too! Ah! Run to the no hills! Good. Let's get moving! Come on, Captain Underpants, help me out here! Help a sister out! I'm actually pretty well covered as long as I attack in a circle. Even though I don't have a lot of reach because this is a level 2 weapon and I don't have any wind scroll to equip. Officer KO number one. Okay, where'd the other one go? There's another one. Now, you probably noticed that officers start running away when you beat them up enough. And they run back to some decimated recovery spot. Actually, I'm not sure if this guy ran away or if I didn't draw him out, but either way, he's dead, so who cares? Cool. Three officers down. And there's going to be another one who pops out up here by this first base that we're about to destroy. Hey.
For some reason, Sauron's going over to the west. I've had times where he runs up north. Oh, okay, he's making a beeline for the objective. Which we don't want to kill just yet because I still need my officer kills in my tactical KOs. And I also want to make sure that I kill enough enemies to get a good tactical rating because if you do the bare minimum of following your officer around and killing things that you come across, sometimes you'll get a bad rating and get chewed out and not get your promotion, which sucks. Yeah, to do the fire attack, you just have to stand either in the base or near it for five seconds without attacking or getting hit enough to flinch. And oh, look what we have here. Menu supply base, eating your meat buns, drinking your usu wine, tanking your morale. Looks like we have some excitement over here. Oh, hello, officer. I need to defeat some more of you. Hey, here's Captain One-Eye. Of course, if you call Shaho Dune... Ca oh, hey! Kill Stealer! Dookie head. Well, in real life, Shahodun was far more of an administrator than an officer. He was very good to his people. Provided well for them. Refused to keep a lot of wealth. Personally helped with construction projects and such. But not so great on the battlefield. But a complete badass in popular tradition because of that whole losing an eye thing, which is popularly romanticized as everyone knows, getting hit with an arrow, pulling it out, eating the eye, and uh, carrying on and stuff. Let's see if I can draw out some other officer or something. I just want to kill some more things. I want my 10 lousy points! I want my 10 lousy points. Oh, I got some more tactical points at least. Oh, here we go. We must defend this area with our lives. And nobody around to steal my kills. Or help me out, but that's okay because this is still early in the game. When the enemies are set on extra special branded AI to make it easy for you to Get into the game. I could just go kill the base, but I'm greedy. Enemy officer defeated. There we go.
attack. Don't give them a chance to breathe. I also forgot to mention one upside to the supply base takeover is that you get tactical KOs for a certain period of time. You might notice the supply light next to the fire light, which is about to go off again. Woohoo! Yeah, seriously. Yeah, seriously, guys! Okay, where's the last guard captain? He's... Oh, my poor lieutenant is dead. Rest in peace, lieutenant. Cow. Cow Ren and Stimpy. Yes, this is the kind of effort I like to see. All right, time for the best victory pose ever. Make another muscle again. Make another muscle again. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Good, good, good. I praise your intelligence and cunning. I had no idea that such a strategist was in our midst. I am proud to have you serving beside me. Aww. Relentless attacks. Ironclad defenses. It takes dedication and an unwavering spirit to perfect these skills. Today, I shall teach you the means to achieve them. Very nice. That's a skill I was going to buy anyway, so save me a few points there. There are certain battles after which your officer will give you one of these. And it varies from officer to officer. But one of Salren's is this four-hit combo.